So are, are y'all having a good day? I, I hope you're having a good day. It's summer. I mean, who couldn't have a good day in summer? Exactly. Summer is always perfect all the time. What Except is that? Except for my pool. Oh, my. Look, it's you. That is it. Hunter Thomas <laughs> Ranson. I you kid. are so mean. I just. You are mean. I just. I was going to say something nice about you, but I'm not going to No, know. no, please, please. I think I deserve no. it. No, I don't think you do. I think was I do. Was that a trap? Yes. It like was a, a bear trap? It was a bear trap, but I'm not a bear, so it doesn't affect me. It would if you stepped in Nuh-uh. it. uh uh Uh-huh. So my pool, my precious pool is green. And I don't mean just green. I mean like swamp green. Yeah, like you can't find see in it. the bottom. So I bought a robot to clean the bottom, but I'm afraid to put him in there because I'm afraid I'll never <laughs> find him again. So Hunter and I have this problem because Hunter plays by the rules 100 percent of the time. I'd right? say I'd say 95. And Sometimes I, I'm feeling a little frisky. I think the rules are bendable, relative. <laughs> so, like, if you've got a swamp in your pool, pouring in three ounces is not going to make any big f- effect. Are you with me, people? The pool smells like death is what me? she's getting at. So, what I did is... There's nothing living I in there. I bought a gallon. She killed everything. And I put everything. the whole gallon in. Because if we want to clean this up, and we do, I need to be in the pool. So, I poured that in today. Already, it's less green... Sorry about the dogs. And I'm hoping, praying, that we can put Mr. Robot in tomorrow Mr. to sludge the bottom. I heard a ghoul, but I don't know where it is. Where is the ghoul? Oh, where, oh, where, oh, where, where is, is the, the ghoul? ghoul? There it is. Oh, oh where, oh, 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 where? Is the ghoul? I don't know where I am or what I'm you doing. You want to know but... something cute about Hunter? You you want to know so, something? I'm gonna don't tell you something. embarrass me. I'm He'll trying. He'll sniff his armpit and look at me and go, "Oh boy, I think I need some deodorant." That's no, just the truth. I smell <laughs> terrible like eighty percent of the time. <laughs> Why don't you just put the deodorant on and you don't have to sniff? I your put armpit. it on, but the one I have is awful and doesn't last long. Well, then let's get something different. With the absolute buckets of sweat that I produce at an alarming, probably medically needed, professional needed rate, the de- it just washes off. You know? Wow. I am wow. a disgusting. You aren't disgusting. Oh yeah. Well, you don't have like twelve buckets of sweat under your bed now do you no you don't no i really don't exactly so i just I... swept under there today and it was pretty clean and relatively except for my dog the miniature dachshund he doesn't play with toys he destroys toys he destroys them with his mouth so, and his claws and his teeth i've been trying okay all at I've the same been time trying i have trouble with friendship i'm not good at it i like people i love people but my dog's the only one who really loves me back. So I decided since he's being my best friend, I should be his best friend. And so I bought him these cute little goggles to wear because he likes to stick his head out the car window. And I'm afraid something's going to flap and hit him in the retina. So I bought him these cute little goggles. Well, he's not, he doesn't really like him yet. But I've got this genius idea that if I take some pepperoni, which is his favorite thing in the world... And I sit down and I get those on him and I give him pepperoni. And the longer he wears them, the more pepperoni he gets. Perhaps he will learn to wear them. I think that's a good idea. Um, She's the kind of woman who would dress her dog up regardless of his dog's feelings. No, I wouldn't. (laughs) I care about his eyes. So then I decided for summer fun, because it gets hot outside, you know, I got them, he and his blue healer buddy, Odin, a sprinkler pad. But yeah, yeah. So Hunter goes out and sets it all up. We turn the water on. I, was, I did it very well. He did a su- superior job Thank of you. attaching the pad to the hose. <laughs> anyway, so the sprinkler's shooting up and it pools in the middle so you can like get your paws wet and cool off and all that. Well, Odin takes off running for the house. <laughs> He's terrified of it. <laughs> he, he went inside and he sat inside the whole time. Now, Loki... Loki didn't fully understand the full concept, but he liked attacking the little streams of water and licking them and biting them. So that was really cute. And then he wanted Hunter to plug up some holes so he could drink from the actual pool part. So Hunter did that for him. So at least he was kind of into it. 
And then I took him for a ride yesterday trying to wear the goggles, but it didn't work so good. She took anyway, our dachshund down the old town road. I did take him down the old town yeah. road. And he had his head out and his ears blowing in the wind. It was awesome. It was fantastic. And probably. so we went for a ride and then we got out of the car for a minute because I like to walk him around to get new scents and stuff, you know. And he was being a little bit of a stinker because he just wanted to go, go, go. But it wasn't mowed enough, and he's so little, I don't want him to get ticks and stuff. So I was picking him up by his harness to put him into the car, and the harness slid right off of him. And I had this moment of great panic because I can't lose my dog. He has a history of, like, running, bolting, bolting, just running. And never coming back. You have, to hunt, you have to hunt him down and jump on him. So I scream his name, and he lays flat on the ground. <laughs> Thank God. And I scooped him up, and it was fine. But, ooh, that was scary. But he had a great time. I mean, he got to go for a ride. And I buy him pup, pup cups and, pup cup. and, and ice cream. And uh, oh, I buy him a hamburger every now and then. So I'm trying to make sure he has a really good life. And somebody said the other day, your dog only has 12 to 13 summers. And this is... Loki's fifth summer, so well, I'm gonna. You're make not sure. even halfway there yet. I know, but I just want to make sure he has a really good life. This house was kind of. Is this a house or is this a hotel? Uh, it's. I'm pretty sure it's a factory. Oh, like I said, a factory. Yeah, we know what we're doing. This is really cool, except for all that you know, paint chipping and. And the colt. The colt. Yeah, look at colt. They're oh. ghouls. That's awful. What am I? What am I doing? Who am I trying? There's to no think? amount of makeup that could help that. No, nah, there is. Ooh, I don't makeup think so. is basically a kind of mask. Kind of, but it would take a lot. Can I steal from? Nope, I cannot. I should not. These people will kill me otherwise. Was that a bed? In yeah, the factory? people sleep here. Is it a sleep deprivation chamber? Whoa. No, oh, it's a disco dance floor. No, that there's no floor. I'm inside the stairs right now. You're inside the stairs? Yeah. See? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> the game is falling apart. Is as that a we glitch? Speak. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're looking for a man named Jason. Jace? Oh, no, he's scary. Isn't he from the movies with the, with the big knife? Not that. That's Voorhees. That's Jason Voorhees. We're looking for... Some guy just named Jason. Well, see, we don't know that it's not Jason Voorhees that he wants. I guess so. Jason. Jason. Where oh, are Jason. you? Jason. We're chasing Jason. We are chasing Jason. Well, can you really chase someone if you don't know where they are? Yeah, I, I guess think so. I guess any sort of pursuit is considered yeah, chasing. Yeah, Jason. Well, maybe Jason doesn't want to be found. Oh, there's Jason. He's sleeping. Oh, oh he, he ugly. looks bad. He green. He's molding. He drank the Grinch shake. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Oh my. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? That depends. Uh, what is the great yeah, journey? Yeah, that's a good question. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Who are the demons? The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. What? This guy's high as a kite. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. Yeah, I think they've drank the Kool-Aid. Nah, the demons are people using stealth boys. What are stealth boys? They're items that can turn you invisible. I want one of those. Nearly half of us <gasps> died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly... Well, aren't they human? I mean, sort of. Uh, they're ghouls. But they were once human, right? Yeah. What? You need to find about the raved part. What did he say? It's probably just some guy in a stealth boy cursing at him. Oh. Because <laughs> he's like, Ah, you darn ghoul, get out here, let me shoot you. What is this far beyond? What's the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer. But what I have seen 
is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Uh, okay. how will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. Uh... Let's get going. Let's get out of here. This is creepy. Well, I want to go take care of those quote-unquote demons for him. I guess I'll do the raved one. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Yeah, I'll take them on. That sounds interesting. Ooh. That that's a, that sounds like good content to subscribe to, right, everybody? Right? Right! right. right. Subscribe, please! Please subscribe! Subscribe uh, to go to the great beyond! With us! 